Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to check the battery health on your iPad 10.2 inch. So let me just show you, if I go to about page settings, I'm using the iPad 10.2 inch and I'm using the 9th generation version. It doesn't matter which version you're using, as long as it's the 10 inch, uh, you'll be good to go. So first of all, if you go to the regular battery settings, you cannot see the battery health, which means we need to use a third party application. So uh, you will need access to a Windows computer. If you don't have access to a Windows computer, you will borrow one from a friend. If you don't have a friend or whatever reason, a uh, family member works as well if you cannot get access to a windows computer you will not be able to check the battery health on your ipad so you will need to go to the link in the description freeu.com just click on the download download free tools set it up once that's done open up free tools right here click on yes and then you will need to plug in your uh, device to the computer so for some reason it's recognized in my ipad pro this is the ipad 10.2 inch so i will need to plug this device in because this is the one i want to use for this video so i'm just going to do that right now that took a bit of time, but there we go. It's now plugged in and you can see trust this computer and on free tools, it says trust this computer. If you see a message saying unable to connect and then there's a repair driver option, click on repair drivers, install the drivers necessary. Then you should see this message and you'll be able to proceed. So I'm going to click on uh, trust on my iPad. And if you're asked to enter in a passcode, enter that one in. And you can see it is showing my iPad, iOS 15, all that good stuff. We want to check at the bottom right here is the battery life. Click on details and charge times. This is the amount of cycles your battery has gone through, which is the amount of times it's gone from zero to 100%. It doesn't matter if you know you went from 50 to 100. That is half a cycle. If you do that twice, it's one cycle. Hopefully you get the gist. And you can see right here, the design capacity, which is uh, the capacity your iPad will come in at launch. And then the actual capacity, which is the actual capacity of your iPad. Sometimes Apple will be nice and the actual capacity will be larger than the design capacity. That's not a bug. That's just, you know, Apple's creating these batteries. Sometimes batteries will be larger than others. However, the minimum size should be 18, uh, uh, 8557. Now you can see battery life right here. This is the actual battery health of your iPad. So mine's at 100% with two charge cycles that's to be expected. Do not confuse battery health with like the actual, you know, battery percentage on your iPad because mine is currently 76%. You can see that at the top. Battery health is, you know, how, uh, how much can you charge the battery to? And mine, I can charge to 100% of the design capacity. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.